I, I, I still can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, when I got that text from um, Detective Rose, he'd always been very careful not to, you know, give any false hope or... Oh, which was very kind of him, because obviously every 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 moment of the day, and even when I was sleeping, it's always there in the back of my mind. Um, the loss of the instrument, the, the responsibility, um, and you know all the all the other all the other factors around it, including um, uh, you know just getting on with life again and sort of re rebuilding. So rebuilding relationship with uh, another instrument and I mean this had been the instrument I've been playing on since I was a teenager and um, so it was a huge part of my identity for, for, for very many years um, so when 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 it had gone um, it was really a case of well I've, I've got to I've got to move on with my life and I've got to sort of be quite sort of you know, tough-minded about it, and 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 um, obviously it was devastating. You know, that goes <laughs> without saying. Um, but in in many respects, I mean, life is so unpredictable. And you've just got to, you know, find the best way to to to, to move forward. Um, so, um, but you know, it, it, I, I used to dream about, well, have nightmares about. Um, the surrounding sort of period of time, and I even remember saying to the officer who I who I spoke to in um, the immediate aftermath of, of, of reporting the violin stolen, I said to him, "Please tell me this is a nightmare. Please tell me I'm going to wake up in five minutes and and it's all going to be fine." And he said, "I'm so terribly sorry, but this is actually real. It's happening." And you know, um, and then the the absolute, you know. And other end of, of the scale uh, when I got this text saying, um, "Hi, Min. It's um, Andy Rose here. Uh, please give me a call when when you get this message. I have some good news for you." And I thought, it, I mean, it can't be. So just this incredible feeling of elation, uh, which hasn't left, and I'm still feeling the butterflies. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sort of cloud nine somewhere.